everyone. I have an unboxing here for you. I, um, well, a couple today. I've received two boxes, and this first one, I just opened it up, is, da 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 da, look, the, Naked Heart Tarot, yay! So this finally arrived. Um, I had I had contemplated getting this the first time around, and then I didn't end up doing it. And then she, it took her quite a long time to get it restocked again. And then she sent me an email uh, that she was taking pre-orders, so I pre-ordered it, and. Now, finally, it's here. So let's open it. Open it up here and have a look and do some first impressions here. Okay, so beautiful box. She's, I love the um, image on the, on the box. And then we also have the Naked Heart Tarot with her name here. This, the black is stunning. This is beautiful. And then images on the back. So nice, okay. Um, the Naked Heart holds the secrets of the soul. Julian C. Wilde. Okay, so, oh, beautiful box she's got the ribbon that, and then she's got it. Oh, look at this book. It's great. The Naked Heart Guide Tarot Guidebook. Very nice. It, it's thick. Holy. So this is quite, yeah, this is really quite involved. Um, it looks to me to be honest with you, her story, my Naked Heart story. Contents. I don't know what the first one was like and I didn't see a whole lot, I didn't actually, I don't think I even saw any other <laughs> reviews of the initial one. Um, so I don't know if this book was in the first one or not as well, most likely. But it is, she's done, it looks like she's done a tremendous job. Like it's very professionally done, really, really laid out, quite involved. You know, not just talking about specifically her deck, clearly, but, you know, about tarot in general. You know, very specific stones. And then divining purpose, which is great. As you know, I've um, created two of my own decks, which we'll be releasing soon. Uh, they're on their way. They're shipping as we speak. Um, and I didn't, you know, bother to do uh, a book. Um, that's not to say I won't, which there's um, certainly was in the works for the one. But... I sort of felt that there are so many, especially, you know, uh, meanings, tarot books out there that it's, I mean, do I really have something to, to add to the conversation about that? I mean, a meaning is a meaning, unless of course the meanings don't, these meanings don't specifically follow the Rider Waite Smith meanings or the Thoth meanings. I'm assuming she's gone Rider Waite Smith. We'll see as we go through. Yes, the universe, yeah. Um, but this looks beautiful so it, it'll be interesting to read what she's written so I just think that's amazing it's the, like quite thick and just so small and compact I love it that's really really cute and it's so beautiful with the ribbon it looks great um, let's take this out we've got the different elements along with the um, suits in there so it's just very high quality, very, very sturdy box. It's got the little cutouts here, which is important. Um, very, very sturdy. 
and of course that sort of that smooth matte kind of feel yeah so um, I'm pleased with pleased with that for sure and it's got this one of these plastic things on it I'm just gonna take that off. I don't like to rip mine I like to keep them because I like to keep um, put my decks back in it I know maybe that's kind of crazy but the naked heart tarot this deck has been created and set with the intention of providing healing energy clarity guidance and truth each card provides insight into the naked heart where ego is extinguished and purity of light flows within you I'm glad we found each other with love I love the backings so beautiful So, so far, I just think the feel of it is actually, it's just the, the paper, it's like quite thick. Um, and it's got, again, it's got that kind of oh, soft, smooth, um, I don't know what that, it's just, it just feels just so good. And it's quite, so I think the quality, I, I mean, you know, I can't. Um, complain about anything about that that's great so I have seen these images around so and I, I just think her artwork is just beautiful um, there's you know like it's a it's an animal uh, tarot so I'm, I'm not sure if there's any humans in this or not we'll see as we go through um, but so this is the fool I'm just going to make sure that it is, and we'll zoom in here a little bit. Okay. I love that, the unicorn. And then there's just a real sense of minimalism with this um, DAC. So there's, a, you know, it's the white, the a lot of the white space, which is great. I mean, I think it's, it has a, a real, there's a real uh, feel uh, to this deck. And again, I think, it, you know, that was all started obviously with um, the Wild Unknown, which did that first uh, very well. Um, and it has that sense, you know, that same sensibility, which is everyone sort of makes, always makes comparisons to the Wild Unknown when it has to do with an animal deck because for obvious reasons. But um, I think she's, you know, beautiful creative. This is amazing. The the magician, I think, the eye, which um, and the triangle, which is that iconic occult and masonic um, imagery with the the eye and the triangle, and having doing that with the bones, and then all the different elements is uh, just gorgeous. The lemniscat. The High Priestess, which is an owl, and the Hamsa hand. So again, it's looking, you know, her, when I sort of approach, um, when it's not kind of, when the imagery is not specifically, you know, the a traditional Rider Waite Smith, what I loved about these decks is to sort of look at sort of how, you know, the author has chosen to kind of get the same meaning, which is the traditional meanings that we know and interpret it, interpret it in their own way. Interesting, she's chosen to have the female and the male symbol there. And of course the goddess, which you see in the uh, traditional um, Rider Waite Smith card. The Earth Mother, I love that, that tree, and of course that rounded, that's the really um, iconic image of the the goddess imagery. Um, I think I have a statue, a Gaia statue on my altar that is that exact image, and in fact it's the, the belly is the earth. Um, so I love that, that imagery, and it works so well obviously for um, the Empress, which she's calling the Earth Mother, which works just as well. And then now Sky Father, which, ah, that's beautiful. The beard and the, um, the universe. Of course, yeah, she's got the, oh yeah, she's got the crown here as well. So to sort of denote, I think, that Empress 
aspect and Taurus. Um, the Taurus symbol, which is the symbol that is always uh, kind of associated with um, the Emperor. And I know all this because I did such in-depth research myself when I was creating my own deck. I was looking really specifically into the specific symbolism around um, each card. So I see these things now. It's amazing. Okay, again, we have this eye, right? But it's also, that looks like the Egyptian um, eye symbol that she's done with the stars. This is the sage, which in other words would be the hierophant. Again, the book and that connection to earth groundedness, but also the stars sort of gives that. So it's, it's sort of the as above, so below kind of feel, which is nice. The lovers, which is two eagles. That's great. The chariot. Okay, so um, two-headed Pegasus, and that feeling of sort of being pulled in two directions, which is really for me very, very iconic about the the chariot um, card. Uh, is that sort of feeling of trying to control, kind of you know, keep a, to, in order to get things moving, to keep a handle on the opposing forces. So that's, is de definitely displayed with the two heads there. Strength, obviously, the lion and with the lemniscat right here, which is um, very, very traditional Rider Waite Smith imagery. Um, so I think this is definitely, uh, again, so, she, you know, she's utilizing, um, you know, like pulling the, a lot of the, her sort of symbolism and elements from the traditional Rider Waite Smith paintings. The Hermit, we've seen this um, in the uh, Wild Unknown, which was the the hermit, the um, tortoise, and it works beautifully well <laughs> with for this card. I think it was, you know, uh, originally just everyone sort of felt it was. Uh, many people have noted that it was their favorite card and so um, I love the colors that she adds into it that's what I think is really lovely about um, this deck is these kind of but they're not over not super bright but it's it's just very it has a very real earthy sense to it and then of course the owl and the key the key there Now, is there no sort of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have a candle there to denote that kind of the light, which is that, um, which you always sort of see the, the, the hermit with, um, with the light. It's interesting, she's got a key there. The owl bringing the key. I, I you know, the keys are usually equated with, uh, the hierophant, but there's no key in there. So she's chosen to put that with there. And, the, and then the owl. The owl, that's interesting. Okay. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, we see the wheel, right? So that's... Uh, and she's got all the four um, connections to all the four different elements in there, the four different... Uh, astrological signs so that's and again the sort of you know the, the 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 imagery on the white background which is beautiful and very um it has a, a you know a simplicity and it's very clean and um and i think very very easy to read justice um again the scales and the the sword which are the iconic images of with the justice this as well that works great very it just it just brings it right away I think what's um, when there's when things are kind of pared down like this um, and especially if you know your Rider Waite Smith imagery and symbolism um, as I do uh, you know you can you pick up on that right away and it's very very clear um, other people might not if they don't if they're not really clear-cut on on sort of all the different elements of the symbolism but um, 
you know, I think it, for myself, it seems very easy to read the upside down. Again, we I've seen this before. I think it was in the Wild Unknown as well. But that it always works very, very well with the bat. And I love bats. Bats are amazing. Death. Okay. Here we have the moon going through its cycle. We have a butterfly, which is transformation. You know, always, you know, sort of that, you know, those sort of that, uh, the, the butterfly uh, symbolism works really well with death. We've got the white um, rose, which is, you know, very, very iconic for the Rider Waite Smith. Um, card of the death card and then of course the bony hand which denotes that so that is um, works very very well temperance the scale uh, balancing keeping things on an even scale that makes sense as so you can see that the candle is in the shape of a woman breasts and then there's the two sides it's interesting the devil so these are arms coming out of uh, a bird skull, it looks like. Or is it an antler? Well, there's antlers, so maybe it's a antelope skull. I'm not really up on my skulls, so maybe someone can let me know. But it's interesting with those arms there. I think sort of, um, you know, maybe it's kind of showing this sort of helplessness. The hands are reaching out. I don't know if that works I mean I, I don't know that that works as well because of course to me it kind of when you ever whenever you have a skull like that it kind of to me has that death aspect to it so um, I don't know if I think that, that I don't think that works quite as well so the tower again iconic we've got the lightning bolt coming down obviously the tree broken off and in falling into the waves that works great star doesn't don't need to be say a whole lot about that the moon card and then we have the female symbolism with the moon card and then the wolf which is that um, very iconic imagery and association the sun oh the beetle that's Hey, the beetle, that's great. And that really brings in that Egyptian element. Again, we saw the Egyptian eye earlier. Male, where we had the female in the moon, we have the male in the sun, which makes sense. And of course the sun is black, which is interesting. Judgment, again, we've got the, um, the, uh, butterfly and here we have several butterflies so that works the universe uh, and the bees and the roundness and all the different elements okay so that works really well I like that I love bees I love bees love 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 the naked heart that is the 22nd card with um, a butterfly in there circle, triangle, circle in there, and the roses. That's beautiful. And I think that's just what was on the front. Similar. I love the wolves. I love the, the, the um, imagery on the front. Okay, so moving right along. Ace of Wands. Oh, a tiger. I love it. I love that because, of course, the, the redness and the wands being the fire energy. Yes. Oh, two of wands. Hmm. We've got this crystal ball as if, you know, what does the future hold? I mean, where are things going? That's interesting. Um, she's got the, the wands crossed, which, okay, um, usually... The cross, you know, for two that are crossed, that's the swords kind of imagery, but she's got it for the wands. Um, hmm. To me, the wands, you know, it's that, you know, sort of a set, having sent, uh, you know, making plans, having sent, 
you know, your kind of um, energy or wants or stuff into the world and but you know what I think maybe that the crystal ball is sort of you know that um, idea of well what what's the potential future outcome of what you've sent out oh, or maybe she, okay so is she doing um, is she trying to kind of connect everything is this sort of that way towards three it's that yeah, it may be that way towards three. And now we have three. Three of wands. One, two, three. So it's kind of pippish then. Okay. All right. So let me see here. So is that... All right. So it's not... Maybe it's not trying to follow. It's being more kind of a pips card as opposed to following um, the symbolism. That, okay. Yeah. Well... It, it kind of has an interesting mix of both because you can kind of see the stability there of the, the four cards trying to make the, the um, canopy symbolism. Five of Wands. Again, I think it she's trying to kind of mix because she's got the cards sort of intermingling like you sort of see in the Rider Waite Smith imagery. Six of Wands with the horse, which is beautiful. So love it. Seven of Wands, again with a, a lion now, or a lioness. And of course you see the fighting, right? Sort of holding your ground, that's oh, interesting. Back off. Um, eight of wands, okay, the movement, and that's that typical imagery of Rider Waite Smith imagery of the wands kind of traveling like spears through the air, and we've got an antelope, so, okay, so it's an interesting mix of things, the nine of wands with the monkey, that's cute, and the burden of the camel carrying the pack of wands, that's nice. Child of Wands. I like that. A little fox. Youth of Wands. So we're doing child, youth, and is it mother, father? Movement, of course, because our, our knights, or youth in this case, are always on the move. That's that energy of um, manifesting, or ma energy of kind of going out into the world to go get it mother okay we've got a mother and father so child youth mother father hey this is this very this is part of very right away smith you always have that that's really cool she's incorporated that with the father and we have ace of cups now and there's ooh, look it's an octopus love that water watery energy Two of Cups and the hearts attached. I like that. And I, they're attached here as well. That works. Um, three of Cups. Let's move that out of the way. Um, yes, intermingled together, there, playing together. That works for that card. The pa Oh, Panda. Oh, neat. Okay, so she's gotten away a little bit from the water animals. We have a panda now. It's just sort of sitting, doesn't really, sitting against the cup there. I love that. And uh, a little bit bored with what he's currently has on offer and with his cups. The four, five, I should say, five cups. So yeah, we've got our two that are, you know, our three that are tilted over. Some are starting to tilt over. Some are up the blue heart this time and a crow or a raven six of cups which is the unicorn that's lovely seven of cups head in the clouds okay which that is that sort of iconic imagery of the seven of cups of the cups sort of hanging out in the clouds and having too many choices. The eight walking away, eight of cups, 
Yep. I'm, I'm out of here. This I'm finished with this shit. Excuse me. Excuse my language. Um, Nine of Cups. Again, that's that iconic Rider Wade Smith imagery of the cups at the table. Oh, look, I'm good. Look at what I got. See, check it out. That's great. And this world. And the Ten of Cups. So we've got um, this, you know, brightly colored rainbow of crystals. Achieve the happiness of a happy family. Child of Cups, which is the whale. Youth of Cups, that movement of the whale jumping out. Mother of Cups. Father of Cups. Ace of Swords. And we have a butterfly, which is very symbolic of the air. And now we have a Two of Swords with an anchor. Sort of binding it, maybe sort of stuck. You're stuck. Okay, again, that iconic imagery of the heart that's speared by three, except we've got the ribs. It looks good. I love it. It's very emotive. <laughs> Four of Swords are, isn't a cat? Um, having a snooze. And of course, with the one at the bottom and the three hanging down, that's very Rider Waite Smith iconic. Five of Swords. So we've got that sense with the shark and then the two, the swords coming in. So it's, it's obviously giving that sense of, um, you know, no win or that kind of battle and, you know, winners, losers. So. Six of Swords and the tortoise, uh, sorry, not tortoise, what am I saying? Um, it's swimming away. I love that. I love, love that. Look at the rainbow. So nice. Seven of Swords, the raccoon stealing. It's cute that she chose a raccoon. They're thieves stealing the that swords. Eight of Swords with the rose being encircled by the swords and kind of trapped and thorned. I love the I love the rose with the thorns. That's beautiful. Nine of Swords speared through the head. That is amazing. Very nice. Again, lots of, you know, it's everything on the white background. And our poor mouse or rat has been speared and killed and is dead. <laughs> the Child of Swords. Oh, it's um, a panther, I guess. Looks like a, a, like a, like a kitten. Youth of Swords, so there's that element of movement. You know, you can see the moving along, the mother with the feathers. Father. And now we've got pentacles. And I love that in with the antlers. That's amazing. That's beautiful. And two of pentacles. There you've got that lemniscat and that motion of back and forth and maintaining balance. And it's in a um, hourglass, which is interesting. The ants go marching. They're working together, look, to build something. I love that. hoarding all his nuts for the winter and in this case pentacles that is so cute and the five of pentacles oh the diamond is broken so a loss maybe that sense of loss six of pentacles with the 
fishies. That to me seems more pippish. The tree, that works. The growth, the tree from the bottom and then fruition. Eight of Pentacles. Oh look, and it's a He's building his dam. <laughs> his beaver, he's so cute. And as a Canadian for whom the beaver is our, you know, iconic um animal i mean the americans have the eagle and we have a beaver which is just it, i mean it says it all really <laughs> um but he's he seems so proud of himself like you know hey man i've got this i can do it i can build anything nine of pentacles i love the flamingo Love, love, love. And the Ten of Pentacles. Elephants. Love elephants. Child of Pentacles. It looks like, is it a... I don't know what it is. Is it buffalo? What? Oh, it is buffalo. I thought, is that a buffalo? It look, and it, I guess it's the baby buffalo. The youth looks like a youth mother, father, and that's it. Wow. Okay. I have to say I'm very pleased with this. Um, don't know what the first editions were like. Maybe I'll, this is the second printing of that. And I know she went to a new printer and it took quite some time. So I don't know if it's different. I'm certainly this version that I have in my hands is brilliant. It's the images are beautiful. Of, of course, as you know, it, it it's you know an animal deck, right? So you don't have any, and there's no humans in it, and um, so that's really really nice. I like to have that that option, um, and a lot of people uh, that when I read for people, they enjoy having sort of that animal option. In the you know normally I use the wild unknown, but I this was definitely uh, is a deck that I could read easily and I think would be have a lot of draw with my clients which is how I kind of look at things. I, well I look at I, when I get decks from two standpoints um, from one it is um, you know is it readable can I read it is it usable from that standpoint sometimes they're not and to me then they just become you know, part of my collection, or they become, you know, or there's, and they're there for, you know, their uniqueness or their imagery that I might like and want to use. But this one is definitely, I think I could definitely use. The, it's, you know, the quality is great. It feels really good. Um, let's see how it shuffles. Yeah, I mean, it obviously it's stiffer. Stiffer. Right, so it's a little bit harder. I'm not gonna rifle shuffle, firstly. I don't, I only rifle shuffle unless it's a deck that really is, is um, flimsy. I can do my Bubba Studio ones, but easily. But this one I wouldn't, and I wouldn't want to, I don't think with the, let's just, let's just pull a couple of cards here. Okay, so yeah, so I, I would definitely recommend, I think, you know, I think it's, you know, it's, it's got that simplicity, it's got the animal, uh, the animals there in the cards, and the, the artwork is beautiful. It feels good. The quality is good. The way she's put it together, I think this is a um, beautiful deck. And I have really no issues with it. And I think I'm going to look forward to using it. So, hope you enjoy. If you like my videos, I will do the, I, the typical, you know, YouTube, you know, roll call of, you know, please like and please, you know, subscribe. So... Uh, enjoy.